I don't think we're gonna need this anymore. Goodbye pickaxe, you've been very useful. Nor do we need the pole. The potion of fly, we'll never, a shame, we're never gonna use you. We don't need this. We wanna hold on to that weird scroll in case we need it. We don't need any of these keys. to jump up here. Nope. Of course not. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, so. We're not going to need any of the keys, so down you go. In fact, let's just leave the bag here. What else we have? My magic rings. This is all the magic stuff I want. Ah, okay, what else do we have? A magical green potion, that'll be eight more gold. And we have a wand, that'll be eight more gold. And a magic red potion, that's eight additional gold. Alright. Something tells me we're missing some money. Oh! grab eight more just to be on the safe side. Let's go back down and get this stuff identified by Dominus. And then we will save our game and make our way back up to level four, where we will go back to the bullfrog puzzle to reach the one crypt we were supposed to have reached a long time ago. Remember how we, we did the bullfrog puzzle and we ended up in the crypts with all the undead where we found the one blade? Portion for the sword. We weren't actually supposed to find that, I think, until this part of the game, when we come back up there with, uh, someone's supposed to give us this artifact, I think. Some sort of crystal or something. But we apparently missed that guy, or I don't know where he is at least. Ah, tis thee again. Yes, I have brought you a mace to identify. Here's one now. Eight gold. Here you go, Dominus. Here thou art. A jeweled mace of unsurpassed accuracy. Um, can't identify this. Equal pieces. Here they are. Very great damage. That's interesting. That is all. Okay, let's see. So we're not going to need our normal mace anymore. And I think we're doing a pretty good job hitting things with mi even with minor accuracy. So we're not going to take the accurate mace. We're going to take the very great damage mace instead. Now, let's get the other stuff identified. Hello, Dominus. Yep, we have plenty of more items. Uh, here's a wand. Uh, yes, here is one. Eight gold pieces. Here thou art. Flame wind. Uh, it's not so good. Magical green potion. Okay, uh, let's try this one. Yes, here's that by this. Eight gold pieces. Here thou art. Hallucination. It's a cursed potion. Okay, at least we know. Now what's this one? Potion of Greater Heal. Oh, we have a scroll! Good thing I brought extra, extra eight gold with me. Yes, can you identify this? Here thou art. Freeze time! Oh, very nice. That's probably very important. We'll hold on to that. And the final item. Yes, can you identify this? Eight gold pieces. Our final eight gold. Here thou art. Restore mana. And the other restores. No, that is all. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's see. What else do I not need? We'll make a pile here. Reveal. I don't know what reveals even do. What's even here? We won't need any of the telekinesises. Night vision was, uh... Was just okay. We don't need flame wind. We don't need telekinesis. Let's get that freeze time in there. We don't need the flame wind wand. 
We need to clear up as much space as possible if we're going to carry the talismans back down with us. Restore mana. Okay, let's uh, save the game. I said over both slots. I probably shouldn't have done that. I guess it doesn't hurt, but if we miss somebody down in level 8, we got to go all the way back down there to hunt them down. So we're going all the way back up. Actually, all the way back up means just up to levels, I think. Back up to level... No, no, they're level 5. They're level 5. We just got... Is this going to be a little uh, difficult to get to them? From this level, I think, right? Because we want to be in the tomb here, the crypt. That means... I think we're missing something. I think there's something hidden here. Oh, well. Alright, so we're gonna go back, uh, oh, we gotta go back up. Yeah, Bullfrog Puzzle down. Or back up, and then the Ghoul down, and then up that way. We'll try the Bullfrog Puzzle, uh, solution. Oh, that reminds me, where's my other rings? Let's get both of these up here. Regeneration, visibility. Now yeah, we'll use invisibility. Right, let's save the game. Oh, you know that one seer may be able to help us. Actually, let's. Uh, maybe that's who I'm supposed to talk to. We're gonna go back down and talk to the one seer who told us about uh, Fonlay Fanlo. may have some more information for us. I can't help but think there's like one key item we're missing. Was that guy again? Oh, uh, Ilamo. Other side. Okay. Well, I suppose we have 13 pounds of weight free. Good for us, huh? I think this was him in here. Hello, Jemis. Is that found the key of truth? Yes, I have found it. I knew it could be found. I hope the key holds AZ in thy quest. Well, I guess there's nothing else for us to do, after all. I thought we got an item from somebody. Something else we needed. Oh, well. Alright, let's uh, head up and uh, see if we can... See if we can do this. Fed and awake. So we need to go... Bullfrog puzzle. We're actually very close to that right now. I do like this game also in that, you know, it's pretty big. Or at least it gives, it feels like a really big dungeon. But all the all the way, passageways go up and down are actually very close to each other. It's very easy to navigate through the whole dungeon if you are familiar with the map. They did a really good job when they made this game. Okay, this is the Bullfrog puzzle area. since we've been here. Oh, you know what? I'm not dealing with this this time. So I don't want to re-bleep this time anyway. Up we go. That's right, this was the way. The other way led uh, was a... was a peek into the... Key of Courage area. The Empty Grave of Garamon. Alright, let's see if these are the bones we need. That's him! 
thou hast done well. And now that my bones are at last at rest, I can speak freely to thee. But my spirit cannot re rest while yet this peril remains. We must open a gate near where the foul creature my brother summoned lies bound. We must return it from the plain from whence it came. Hmm, how can we open such a gate? For this I will need a great deal of magical energy. This will be no gentle luring such as brought thee here, but an unimaginable vortex of interplanar energy. Where can we find such powerful magic? Tybal's orb would be perilous to use, even if it were intact. The power we tap must be carefully chosen. As thou may have guessed, I am a little out of touch with the world. I had hoped thou might provide an answer. Hmm. What be the qualifications for what thou needest? It would be best if the source were absolutely pure. My brother found the danger in tapping powers whose source thou knowest not, and it would be best if Britannia herself were somehow involved. What dost thou mean, Britannia involved? It would help to invoke one of the elements. We work for Britannia's sucker, and... Oh, uh, is that right? Yeah, I think so. And we must hope she would lend what aid she could. The elements... The classical four, earth, air, and fire and water. Yes, the source which, if we are fortunate, may even wake Britannia to our aid. Should we be as pure as possible? Else, we risk ending like my brother, other. Volcano? No, that will not do something else. Uh, talisman? Yes, of course! Those would do admirably. Now, we must find a means to unleash their stored virtue. We must find some latent source of power that can be released by applying the energy of the talismans. Volcano. Yes, of course. If all eight talismans can be thrust into the volcano's maw, one at a time, I could ride the wave of such power to open the vortex. Ah, thou art wise as well as valorous. Wilt thou make such a sacrifice? Aye. Though it pains me sorely to lose such tools as these. Excellent! Make haste to the lowest place, where thou must cast all eight into the abyss. Hold back not one upon thy peril. When they are consumed by earth's own fire, I shall leash the torrent of to gape wide my gate. With fortune's smile, we shall send our foe screeching back to its hell. Where can I find a way into the volcano? The Chamber of Virtue is located on the lowest level of the Abyss. It lies at the very center of the volcano, where the energy fields of the Stygian are at their strongest. It is said that a special three-part key is needed to enter, but I know not the veracity, ver veracity of this legend. I will make my way there. And there's uh, Garamon. Alright everyone, we're about to end the game. I hope you all had fun watching it. This was a very fun game to play. I think the other way to get into here would be finding this weird crystal that some guy gives you.